the presentation of the world is more incredible, more beautiful, more breathtaking than I ever thought it was when I thought it was real. People feel that, as I certainly did on this journey, I felt like I had to let go of the world and just only be, you know, basking in consciousness and awareness and let go of it all. But my own experience is the world just becomes more incredible. I just have so much compassion and so much love. You know, it's just grown and grown and grown. And I know that none of it's real, but it's incredible. Welcome to Letting Go and the Greatest Secret. I'm Hale Dweskin. My guest today is the beloved best-selling author, Rhonda Byrne, who launched a global phenomenon with the publication of The Secret in 2006. I was blessed to be featured in the book and the movie, which helped readers understand the untapped powers that reside within. Rhonda's new book, The Greatest Secret, is a quantum leap that takes readers beyond the material world into the spiritual realm where all possibilities exist. This book reveals the greatest discovery a human being can ever make and shows you the way out of negativity, problems, and what you don't want to a life of permanent happiness and bliss. I am also blessed to be featured in The Greatest Secret, along with my mentor, Lester Levinson. Let's catch up a little. Uh, how have things been going for you uh, in the past few years with everything going on, the, the release of The Secret, the, I mean, The Greatest Secret and the, and the pandemic and moving and everything else? Just to, yeah. Yeah, let's just catch up a little. Okay, okay. Well, yes, I did move after being um, in the one place in California for 15 years and I moved to um, Ojai, which is a very spiritual and place and very kind of secluded and gorgeous mountains. And so I'm absolutely loving it here. Uh, the Greatest Secret was very special to me, as you know. Yes. And, um, you know, maybe it's one of those. It's done incredibly well, but I still think in terms of reaching billions that it's one of those books that people will find at the right time. And um, But I love that book so much, you know. And when I receive letters from people where they say that they – it, it set them free from suffering. It just makes me so happy. Uh, but I've been with the team being quite focused on apps and you know what it's like, you know, now this world of all this technology. So we've been doing a lot in terms of apps, which has been really, really cool and developing um, different ideas for different ideas to help people with the secret yes so with manifesting and because i think you know it's really interesting like manifestation is kind of the buzzword now yes um yes. 19 years after we talked about it on, right. on the secret. <laughs> uh but one of the but it's 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 generally misunderstood yes um because people uh, uh, will say, oh, I'm going to manifest this or I manifested that. But they manifested everything, you know, and that's the, the missing piece, I think, is that many people don't realise that they manifest absolutely everything. They're, ma they're manifesting all the time, you know, and um, what they don't want, what they want, they're manifesting. So I, I really like doing pieces. I've done lots of lives. I've done podcasts where I didn't do those for a while. Um, and that's been really great. And the reception to those has been really great. And so I, I love an opportunity like this to connect with people. And then the most recent, well, we re-released the secret on, we remastered the secret. Yes. Um, documentary and 
and it's like when I sat down with the team and watched it, I had so many tears and so many laughs and it really is just incredible, absolutely incredible. And um, and so that was just an amazing thing to do. And I, I think, I'm not sure where it's available. It's I think it's available on Amazon and all those places like that. But it's, it's just really wonderful. You guys all look better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I, I, I just love that documentary. It means everything to me, that yes. documentary. Yeah, uh, it was blood, sweat, and tears. I don't know how we made it. I don't know how with the where the money came from. Um, all I know is that when we made it, the universe had our back yes. because everything we needed appeared right in front of us, yes, and yes. so it was absolutely fantastic. Um, so that's been remastered, and then we just released, uh, sort of keeping up with the times. We just released some. Um, manifestation cards and uh uh which are yeah and um and they are they are um what can i say they're like a piece of art aren't they yes aren't they, they are well everything you do i have to say Rhonda, everything oh. you do is like a piece of art yes, <laughs> they are your books so everything beautiful. Oh my gosh, they are so, so utterly beautiful. And that is Nick, George, and the team. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, all the gold sort of, you know, sort of show people because, I mean, I just think they are so, so utterly beautiful. Yeah, they are. Um, and uh, an all gold edge. And, oh, I mean, of course, you know, writing them, I, I was writing them and, my daughter Sky did uh, editing, and but I love these cards. And you know, you know when something's a hit with me because I want one for everybody for Christmas. Right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs> you know, and I was asking Nick today, when am I going to get a box of cards? <laughs> because I want to start to give them to people. So, so really, it's that this is you know taking the secret and putting it in, putting the secret teachings yes. in a box. Yes. It's like it's like flashcards for for right? transforming your life. Yeah, yeah. Do you have and, a favorite? Oh, I do, I do, and it's the white one, um, and I think it's the only white one in the pack, isn't it, Nick? Oh yeah, it is. You are an eternal being. Yeah, that is the one that I love the most. Yeah um so that one you want to but, uh, uh, people course, uh, uh, this is also this is going to be video and also a podcast do you want to just read the quote and we can discuss it oh yeah sure 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 sorry yes of course people are listening as well i'm so sorry um this particular card is you are an eternal being take a look at the world around you none of it can exist without you no matter who you thought you were you now know the truth of who you really are. You are the master of the universe. You are the heir to the kingdom. You are the perfection of life. And that I love. And that is, there's a similar piece to that at the end of the sacred book. Um, and I, I just, I love that. And when I see people struggling or suffering, I'm like, but we are so powerful that we can make ourselves we are so we have unlimited power, and we can make ourselves completely limited with no power. Right. That's how much power we have. <laughs> <laughs> that we limit ourselves, that we shrink ourselves down. You know, like yeah. honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> oh, a, a moth loves me. Um, there's a moth that just loves me. Um, so yeah, so got a moth flying around or a little fly. Um. Yes, so I just, you know, it's just the way that it is. Uh, I don't know, you know, if, if, if some people are struggling, that they that there needs to be a little more struggling or something. I remember that's what my teacher used to say to me. People have not suffered enough. 
And then I think about the times in my life when I suffered and no one wants to suffer, right? No one. Right, right. Like it's horrible. And so, you know, to say, well, they haven't suffered enough because when you've suffered and you can't take it anymore, you ask questions. Yes. And yes. the universe is right there yes. to, to guide you right out of it immediately. So... Yeah, my my uh, my mentor Lester Levinson. Uh, actually, there's two quotes I wanted to share. One was <laughs> he used to say, "Is it uh, he is God all powerful?" Uh, and he said, "Yes, because you are." <laughs> he used to think that the that not the, the person, but that which we truly are, was all power and all manifestation, not just the parts we liked, but all of it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that also ties back into something you said, that everything you're, you're looking at, everything you see, everything you feel, is, is already a manifestation of that one energy that all mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. And it's boundless. It's limitless. Yeah. yeah. It's ever new. Yeah. So it's it's pretty spectacular. Yes. Um, isn't it? It's really, really spectacular. Uh I wonder if I can share this. I wonder <laughs> if I can share this. I just manifest things so fast, Hale. Really fast. Yes. And it's, it, it's kind of it's kind of spooky how fast I manifest. And I was looking at YouTube, and up came this kind of Californian, you know, police chasey thing. Yes. And I I and I just looked at it, and you know, police, the California Highway Patrol were chasing a guy who was speeding, and um, he ended up by driving recklessly, so they stopped the chase completely because it was too much of a risk to people's lives. And the guy just put the car in the side street and hopped out this corner. And there were five officers standing there with guns pointed at him. Like, how they, how they knew where he was, I have no idea. Well, within 24 hours, I had five officers at my front door in basically the same formation, except not with guns pointed because my alarm faltered. So I really have to, I can't watch things, you know. I have to be so careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, I have to be so, so careful. Yes, so, there's, anyway. these, there's, there's these repeating patterns, and sometimes we see them in the world, and then they, re, they repeat in, in our direct experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and so it was a movie, you know, and then my movie took it on. Right. <laughs> right. I was watching a movie and then my my movie decided to incorporate that yeah. into it anyway. But, I mean, that's how I think when you just have very little resistance and you're feeling incredibly joyful, you manifest really quickly. Yes. And um, yes. And so it wasn't a bad situation or anything, but it was just like the universe going wink, wink. You, know? <laughs> you, gave, you gave focus to something. And, and so it's the same for everybody. But sometimes we don't connect the dots. Yes. You yes. know, we don't we don't realize, oh, yesterday I focused on that and this happened today. Or I focused on something in the morning and in the afternoon it happened. And so... Um, but absolutely everything that manifests is, you know, came from mind. Right. So, right. which is what Lester would always talk about. Yes. Yeah. So, so brilliantly, actually. Um, yes. Very simply and, and, and brilliantly. I, I really, really love him. He is a big part in The Greater Secret, um, as you know, and yes. so do you. And, yeah, I just love his teachings. I. If I'm driving to LA, I'll just put on one of his tapes. And I bought every single Lester thing from your, every single Lester thing from your um, website. Every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Have them all. Have them all. So anyway, 
<laughs> but yeah, it's really interesting to, I think, kind of the world is changing and in in some ways it can be challenging and in other ways the difficulties remind you that it's all okay. Yes. And um, and that's, I think, when I see people upset and reactive and everything, that is a real cue to me that everything, everything's okay. Yes. You know, so. Yes. It, it, people, it's hard for, uh, sometimes for people to accept that or be even be open to it because for most of us, I think we want to have it just the way we want personally and we forget that the whole world is just one integrated manifestation and it includes everything it includes the strife that's happening in the world it includes the beauty in nature it includes the what we would think is the highest goodness and it also includes the the awful of the awful it's mm. it's one integrated whole and yes we are uh, what appears to be us as separate individuals are just an integral part of that yes and you know when there's you know a, a hot spot in the world people get incredibly distressed and yes. reactive to it but but unfortunately that doesn't help the hot spot no <laughs> it doesn't doesn't help the people in the hot spot because all of that energy is just bringing more of the same and so it's you know, it's it it requires us to step back and to only see in our mind what we want, right? Yes, yes. You know, instead of looking at we don't want what we don't want and reacting to it, being horrified by it, terrified by it. If we can't physically do anything, then what we can do is use the power that we have of our own mind and um, and see. The situation in peace and and people in peace and people safe and that's the absolute best thing that we yes. can do and if everybody did that hey it would all all end wouldn't it immediately it would yes. end yes mm. but you know what why don't we just do something for a moment why don't we just pause for a moment and and just invite love to to all the hot spots on the planet you want to do that just for a moment? Yeah, that would be gorgeous. Yeah. So uh, everyone who's listening to this, just pause for a moment. Whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're feeling, whatever, whatever is going on, and, and just do that as best you can. And just focus on that aliveness or beingness or the warmth that radiates from your heart. Some people call that love or beingness, but it doesn't matter what you call it. And see if you can feel how it doesn't have any boundaries. It doesn't really have a beginning or an end. It's all inclusive. And then focus on any place, either in your own personal life or anywhere on the planet, where there's distress, strife, contraction, things aren't don't appear to be going the way we'd like. And could we just for a moment hold in mind the very best for them? And that includes yourself, of course. Just see all of it being bathed in the light of love and truth and beingness. Okay, good. I thought it might be nice just since we were Absolutely. talking about it. It's lovely. 
and just helps to guide people away from where perhaps where they might have been, yes. which doesn't help the hotspot or help them in their lives either. Yes. And um, I think one of the trickiest things, you know, maybe this might be something for us to talk about. Sure. But I think one of the trickiest things for people is reactions. You know, reactions um, is because reactions seem to happen before you're aware. Kind yes, of thing, definitely. Right? <laughs> like they happen and then you're aware that you had a reaction. It's like the, um, it's, it's just like the body reacts, but that's how s smart it is, uh, how fast it is and how smart it is. And so all of those reactions um, create, do they not? Yeah, yes. all, all of those reactions because... The reaction is includes focus, and and if we're reacting, it's feeling. Yes. And so we've got the the combination, the feeling to accelerate what we're focused on, and so a reaction, base which is coming from the subconscious mind, right? Yes. 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 Yeah, it's coming from the subconscious mind, which is why it happens so quickly, and we only become conscious of it kind of after it's happened. Yes. Yes. Right. And, uh, but what I do after, uh, after what I've done after a reaction is to just, you let it go, yes. you know, <laughs> which is all your, all your work, but, um, yeah, it's to just let it go. And so I definitely noticed, um, that I have way, way, way less reactions and there's less energy behind them as well. So when I have a reaction, it's a bit of a surprise Yes. because I don't generally have them. But that was the way that I went from being quite reactive, uh, unconsciously reactive to, uh, to diminishing all of that energy because it does create yeah yes and even and the other thing is that the it is definitely creative but at the same time if one of the reactions that most of us have mm. uh, especially if, there's so many of us now who've who've really investigated this for long periods of time for most of us <laughs> or many of us we we can get into this reacting to the reaction in other words, oh no, uh, if I don't get rid of this, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be terrible. <laughs> and that's sometimes a really important thing to remember to let go mm. of too. I know you don't have mm. this problem, Rhonda, but a lot of people. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not as tough as that on myself. I'm yes, a lot yes. easier on myself. Yes. Mm. Well, yeah. but you've done so much work on yourself. So you've it's it's natural but you know some of the people listening to this may not have been as fortunate yeah. to have all this support yes. and 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 all this focus that you've had over a long period of time so if you're new to this just know that if there are reactions if there are things you're struggling with just do the best you can let go as best you can and know that it isn't personal that we take our reactions so personally. We think I'm reacting and it's my fault and I shouldn't feel this way or I shouldn't be thinking these things. Mm -hmm. But if you see that as just part of that one manifestation, that one energy that all is, and it makes it so much easier to just let it flow through. It's what's apparently happening. Reactions are happening and we can mm -hmm. just welcome or allow them when, yeah. when we're not owning them or or kind of right. grip, trying to get rid right. of them. Yes, right. Yeah. No, not good idea to get rid of, try and get rid of anything, anything at all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to get rid of anything, actually. <laughs> There's too much energy around the getting rid of every, anything. Like, it's really incredible to kind of come full circle and realize that, and realize just to be, you know, okay with absolutely everything. And I remember one of my grandmothers, she was just so amazing. 
because she had seven children. There were that many dramas that happened in the family, yes. all kinds of dramas, and she lost. She buried grandchildren, she buried children. And do you know what? She was the rock. She was unbelievable. She would, it, and it wasn't that she was stoic or anything. She was just so accepting of whatever happened. Yes. Completely accepting of it. No resistance to what what has happened. And um, and I think about her all of the time. Yes. How she lived a long life and she she basically was having a cup of tea, which would have been her favorite thing in the entire world to do, and passed just like that, you know, so so gently, just like um yeah but she she just had zero resistance to things and and that's the the less resistance the more joy and happiness and the more love yes for sure yes. The, the more right. certainly the more it's experienced for sure yeah yeah very beautiful very beautiful and you see i don't think it's very hard <laughs> uh, do you think it's hard no or is no. it is it i don't think it's hard but then what is it is it that the world and the and the 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 movie of the world is so kind of um distracting intoxicating seems so real so that it's that it's hard for people to find some time to just not everybody because i'm sure many of the people that listen to you releasing all the time right I, i'm just talking and they know very well what i'm talking about uh, how much better life gets but i'm just thinking of everybody everybody else that's that's you know struggling and um yeah i just oh gosh i i i, I just think it's really uh really tough you oh, know, it, it, it it feels that way to, to most people, especially right? in the beginning, yeah. when when you first yeah. try to go in this type of direction, it almost feels like the mind is fighting against it. And we don't realize that we're not the mind. So we think that we're fighting against it. I and then know. that adds that that blame thing again on shaming ourselves oh my god i know <laughs> i should be positive and i'm not what's wrong with me well there's nothing wrong with you it, no. it what happens the main hook i think yes of course the world is very entrancing whether whether it's something we we're it's it's something that we've wanted to happen and it's finally happening or it's something we definitely don't want to happen but what's entrancing about it is, I think, and you you jump in if if you have a different perspective, oh. is that it feels like the whatever's happening, even just the news, is happening to us. Hmm. And when we feel that we are separate from everything else, hmm. then that's that's a position that needs to be defended. It needs to be protected it needs to be explained and uh, so we spend a lot of our time defending protecting explaining justifying our suffering as opposed to recognizing it's just suffering it isn't ours and it's not real it it uh, comes it has its moment and then it dissolves yeah and what's left over is what's natural not not yeah. that this the, the the waves of suffering aren't natural too, they are. But what's left over is just this recognition that it's not all about me. It's it's about this, that everything is. And mm -hmm. if just being open to that as a possibility makes it can make it a lot easier. You do your best you can, you you hold in mind the, the positive as best you can. And that key is as best you can, not just, um, it doesn't have to be perfect, as best you can. And and then you live your life also as best you can. And you, you, you're, you if you can be as easy on yourself as you can, that's great too, because there, there are ups and downs, things go, sometimes they go the way we want them to, and sometimes they go the way they do, which is not always the same. Yeah. And, 
there's definitely an alignment as you let go. It feels like the two come together and you don't have to effort as much as you know, you, you don't have to effort as much to hold in mind what you want. And we can forget that in the beginning, it's can feel like a lot of work and people will think to give up, but just look for the little benefits at first as opposed to the big ones and just keep letting go as best you can. And you'll be surprised how quickly things change for the positive. Yeah, no, that's really great. And one of the things that I think, like perhaps a lot of people feel that um, in this work that you're kind of letting go of the world. And, uh, and I just want to say that from my experience, the world is more incredible and more the presentation of the world is more incredible more beautiful more breathtaking than I ever thought it was when I thought it was real and uh because I just I can't get over it how incredible it is yes. <laughs> um, because it's not real right right and so it's just amazing like amazing and my heart just feels really really feels with the beauty and the love and the um and the awe that I have of the world that's being presented to us so you know people feel that um as I certainly did on this journey I felt like I had to let go of the world and uh and I guess with all of the internal work that I did, I let go of believing in the events that occurred and and believing that they were de deliberately affecting me or I don't know how, I just know that from welcoming, things happen and I'm just okay with those things happening. I just don't have the same resistance that I had all of my life prior yes you know, prior to this work. And so, but I I just feel that I thought I had to let go of the world. I thought, oh, that's the only way. You have to let go of the world and and um, just only be, you know, basking in consciousness and awareness and let go of it all. But my own experience is the world just becomes more incredible and the beings in it more... Um, I just have so much compassion and so much love. Yes. You know, it's just grown and grown and grown. And I know that none of it's real, yes. but, uh, but it's incredible. Yes. It's incredible. Yes. Beautifully so, put. Yes. Mm. Yeah. It's the, that is a big, mis a big misconception and, uh, on the path that we have to reject the world in some way. And mm. it's assuming that the world is different from beingness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like when people say that something is spiritual and that the world is spiritual. I'm like, hang on a minute. All uh, right. <laughs> It's all spiritual. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, it's, yeah. 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 It's, it's yeah. just, yeah, and that's it's kind, such a common misconception. Yeah. We think we have our spiritual life over here and then everything else over there. Yeah. But if you, if you actually check, you can't find a boundary. No, there's no boundary whatsoever. <laughs> and, you know, that's important to do. I mean, I did that work. I did, a, I did that a lot checking for boundaries, yes. checking for the boundary of my body and um, uh, and the skin. And I, I did that a lot. And you, I think you need to experience it for yourself because then you will see absolutely categorically there are no boundaries. Yes. So, yes. And, and it's very compelling, you know. So, so it's worth doing that work. I'm sure you've got... Um, I'm sure you've got the things where you take people through. Oh, the, yes, yes, yeah, definitely. You would have many, <laughs> many, many, many things. And, yeah. yeah, and I did that. Um, I did that with my with my teacher as well. And uh, uh, just 
and just amazing you know just amazing. and several teachers actually there were some teachers that were really like one of the things was to look at uh was to look at dimension and to see how everything was kind of all joined together like it, that there's actually no depth and there's yes, no yes. height right that's really cool too oh yeah like well, that, yeah that yeah. is so cool yeah it, that it, we the mind is giving us the depth and that you know in front of me is a wall that wall is over there and you know the mind is creating that dimension yes. and that experience and then it creates the movement the sense of movement of the body moving toward that wall through the space and everything. But I also found that was fantastic. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, just looking at all of those dimensions yes. and uh, realising that none of them are real. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Include it, it, and, and also time. Time, time. time yeah. is just in the story. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. I mean, without the mind, there's no time, right? Because exactly. time is thought. And Krishna Murphy did that, didn't he? he? Did that incredible talk with David Bowen. Um, what was it about time? Uh, that talk, and uh, you know, I've said it. I can't remember the um, really, really, really famous talk that Krishna Murphy did with David Bowen, and it was about time, and they took it apart bit by bit by bit by bit by bit to show that you know so that time was just thought yes yeah yes mm. well, and that was great too i spent two years um dissolving time and space yes because i had a mentor in spain who said to me you will advance a lot if you dissolve time and space yes and so i took that to heart yes that I'm I'm very grateful for the personality that came into this, that that was here in this body that was so determined, you know, to do things like that. Yes. And so time and space, I I worked on that for two years in yes. terms of dissolving it. It was fantastic. Like yeah. I loved it. Yeah, well, it I is. loved getting on a plane with people and like this is so cool. Everyone thinks we're all going somewhere. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're all taking off and we're going to fly for hours and we're going to land in Europe. And, you know, and we're all in this way. We all think we're, everyone thinks we're going somewhere and we're not going anywhere. Yes. Oh, yes. It's really, yeah. It's really yes. great. And, and just so that for the, the sometimes again, with, there are people at all levels listening to this. We're not, we're not, it's not an invalidation of your experience. The, the time apparently happens. That's how mm -hmm. uh, we knew, the two of us knew to meet at, a, at 11 p.m. or 11 a.m. I st still have problems with time. <laughs> but at any rate, <laughs> uh, it's what's apparently happening. The world is what is apparently happening, and we need to deal with it as though it is happening and both of us do but if we if we just no no it's okay <laughs> but if you're just open at least to the possibility that it's just an appearance it appears that way but there's an underlying unicity that doesn't have dimension doesn't have location doesn't have limitation it just is and then and even and the appearance you. of time i didn't hear that what and that's you yes that is yes. that is everything and nothing yes mm. absolutely mm. and 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 it's just it feels exquisite but it also it changes your relationship to what's apparently happening in a beautiful way you, you're, you're not as lost in the drama and the trauma and because of that, I've seen this so many times in, in this life that there's an apparent horrible event. And but because and I was happened to be uh, there, it was either a personal one or something happening in the world. But I was able to be stay centered and open and and just deal with it as it was actually appearing. 
and that helped everyone in the situation mm-hmm. and so so as as you do this work on yourself just be open to the possibility that yes it appears real but it's not as real as it appears just that can yeah. can be really transforming and because yeah. the the reality this changeless reality of beingness or isness is what gives life to everything everything is that and mm. if you again mm-hmm. these are at first these may just be words but if you stay open to it at least as a possibility it really transforms things yes and I, I think as you, as you, I mean, I don't wake up and and at six thirty and say, well, it's not really six thirty, right? You know, and and I don't really need to go downstairs to get coffee because there's no space. I mean, I'm ex- I'm existing in the in the time and space. But when you spend the time to dissolve the reality that you've given it, time and space, then what happens is you disempower that and you empower yourself. Yes. And uh, and and that's why life just gets better. Yes. Because you you know nothing nothing kind of ruffles you the way the way it used to, and especially I think taking things personally. And you know I didn't even set out to uh, I didn't even set out to to kind of, on that subject. Oh, I really need to spend some time and not take things personally, but it just happened yes. as a natural occurrence of releasing and welcoming and dissolving, you know, dissolving time and space. But do you find that people um, generally like they're really keen to know more about manifesting in this world than releasing from this world? Well, they go hand in hand but Mm -hmm. in my experience the place that people get stuck most is in trying to manipulate manifestation all right (laughs) 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 so they've created a gorgeous statue of david and now they're trying to manipulate the statue yeah Yeah. Yeah. and and even the things in so when we're at war with life we're trying to fix it or change it or control mm-hmm. it it's a never-ending struggle but as we recognize as best we can i mean this is again i say that a lot when i when i speak to people is that just love yourself as you are and and do the best you can but mm-hmm. if you're if you the more you let go the more you discover that whatever is apparently happening is just that it's not real it's not meaningful it's not important Mm. and it it has this beauty to it this openness to it this flowing nature that allows for even things that seemed intractable in our lives to just start to melt away Mm. revealing even more freedom more aliveness more openness Mm -hmm. and again if if we just do our best to cooperate to be open at least to the to the positive outcome it 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 feels much more available and and it and we also have have you noticed this too it 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 also seems to have a, a positive effect around the people who are around you Oh, definitely. Uh, even if they're not interested or even open to this. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah, I agree with you. Agree with you. Yeah, definitely. And you know, um, I mean, I have people that are really, really close to me that uh, that don't that that don't. I don't want to say the word believe, but don't 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 think the mind can do a single thing and think that the world is completely real and we're born and we die and you know that story which is actually not a fun story to believe no it feels terrible (laughs) and and, you know especially as their body gets older that's a really grim story like if you want to torture yourself buy into that story um 
but you know even with those people around me like that who who are like that still i can see that there's um an effect of joy yes. you know uh, yeah so uh so that part's really really nice it is nice yeah. it is nice really. i don't i don't understand how there can be a single being who <laughs> left on the planet who 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 doesn't realize the first of all the first first step that doesn't realize that the mind is uh is creative yes. and well i'm saying that loosely you know i say that loosely i, I say that on first level that the mind is creative but it it just it just amazes me because it's by your own experience you can tell that it is yes yeah. yes so but yes, even with people that have bought into that awful, awful story, awful story, I still notice the the joy, you know, the yes, joy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. Well, if if everyone uh, just looked a little more for that in each other, they'd find it. Mm. <laughs> yes. We're we're habituated to look for what what isn't right in in an apparent mm. others but when you look for what is already beauty already wholeness already yeah. sweetness you, you can find it you, you'd see that even people who are doing things that are ultimately just dest destructive are doing it because they think that's what they need to do mm. in order to fulfill what they're supposed to be doing and yeah that has its own beauty in it even though it can mm. be very distorted and so mm -hmm. looking for the beauty looking for the naturalness looking for uh what is already wholeness in the people that we meet it 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 has a beautiful effect on them but it also it's very helpful as long as we believe we're separate it, it, to any degree it's really helpful to us because we start to see it within ourselves as well and so yeah. it, it it becomes a self-reinforcing loop mm. yeah that's the big that's the big one for people <laughs> I, I think that's the big one for them is the separate separation i think that's the the biggest one to dissolve yes is separation even though you know the boundaries there are no boundaries and everything but then they go about life and everything feels so separate the mind makes everything separate picks out every little thing and gives it dimension and for an apparent borders and everything and so i you know i think it can be challenging for people yes that aspect of it however it doesn't matter because I I have found this. I just think the, the the biggest thing that I have done, hands down, is to welcome my emotions. Yes. And that's where I have stayed focused, single pointed, is to welcome those emotions and dissolve those emotions. And as a result of doing that, it takes care of everything else. Yes. It really does. It's a one-stop shop. <laughs> as less than you, and as you know. Yeah. And I mean, that was the thing that I, I did the most that my teacher drove into me, yes. you know, and like she she would say, um, release the um she would say, release if I knew something, you know, that if I said I know, I know, I know something. And she's like, well, release. <laughs> right, right. Release Even that, that yes. you know, Release that you know anything. And she said, and release the knower while you're at it. Release yes, the yes, knower. yes. And, uh, and, and I, I would do it. Of course, it's really obvious to me now. At that time, I was like, release the knower, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but just... And, you know, just she she's my friend now. She's not my teacher. I don't feel that I need any teacher. Um, I don't need a teacher anymore. She, it was, she was so fantastic for, for holding up a mirror and showing me the mind where yes. I was believing the mind. It sounds really, fantastic. Really, 
really amazing, really yeah. amazing. But uh, but it was just then it just came down to releasing everything, yes. you know. And if it was a train of thought or if there was a memory, I mean, I I released emotions, but I also if there was a memory started to come up of something that I didn't like, I would completely release it. Yes. So I would just release everything that I didn't want. I released it all, and so now, especially with all those memories, I don't. They're not. If somebody said to me, "What happened with?" that I'd be like oh, I don't know I know something a long right. time ago. <laughs> and it just disappears right oh I know I know that you you do not you don't know it anymore it's gone like it's completely gone I think that's really fun for people to experiment with is releasing a memory that is not a good memory for them maybe a traumatic memory of some kind and to keep releasing the feeling behind that memory and the and the mind and then you will get to a point where you'll go to tell somebody and you will not even remember the, the memory. That's you right. It's gone. Like the memory exactly. Gone. I remember <laughs> I was to my teacher, oh, my gosh, I had an incredible thing last night. I was releasing this memory of when I was a child and I can't remember what the memory was. Right. And she would say, she would say good. Yeah, she right, good. Say, it's gone. You fully released it. It's right, gone. Right, right, right. I really wanted to remember to tell her. <laughs> 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 but I couldn't, there was nothing. Like it was just like blank paper, gone, completely gone. Right, so, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, 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 I think that's really great for people, you know, too, to, because it isn't it? you know we have like life is so interesting and we all go through um really tough experiences and that's why i love the greater secret because different from the secret which is just to empower people and to show how they can have a much better life this yes. life but the greatest secret is the way out of every daily suffering yes daily negative emotions yes taking you over and to be free of those is to be truly free. Yes. And um, and so I I just you know I'm a big advocate, big big advocate. But I that I, I I was lucky. This body came with a program personality that was very determined. Yes. Yes. You know to do see everything through. And I just did this. Um, nothing to do with this, this spirituality, but I just did this course about uh, the body's metabolism and it was really interesting because at the beginning of the course the the woman said it's really important for you to understand which personality you are so that you will be able to see any difficulties arise when you're yes, doing the course because of that pattern and so, yeah right and so there was all of these questions and everything and at the end you press the button what are you and I was the questioner Yes. Um, that was the that was the personality and um which which means that which meant that I somebody told me something I'd really want to know that for myself. Yes. Whatever that took, I'd be very open to what they're saying, but then I want to know it myself. And so I realized just in doing that tiny little thing that this body, you know, came with a personality that was very curious and very determined and wouldn't let go and and just kept doing um all of the work and yes. and I don't need that personality anymore um <laughs> you know to to to, to drive <laughs> right uh yeah to drive but I just think about that with some people because maybe their their personality is not so um you know, determined and because it's just so easy to stop suffering. Yes. And I just wish we could give a spoonful <laughs> <laughs> to everyone. But if we could give a spoonful to everyone, we would deny them the joy of reaching it themselves. Yes, yes. Mm. But again, the, the everything that we do is designed to give them spoonfuls uh, in but in a way that they know their the the spoon is in their hand, yeah. and it's them who have to 
Yeah, that's it. <laughs> have to swallow it and yeah, and be yeah. open to exploring it. And yeah. uh, again, the it is it is just beautiful what what is transpiring for people as they learn to just simply let go and yeah. welcome or embrace or wow what is as it is because what is is what's happening <laughs> no matter how much the the mind may kick and scream but even the kicking and screaming is what's happening it's just That's right. <laughs> this and there is a, a real acceptance in that a, a mm. real ease and joy in mm -hmm. just allowing what is to be as it is at least mm. for this for for this moment or at least as best you can and mm. it, you know a lot has been said uh, in our conversation the little tidbits that i think people will find helpful if they just play with it a little yeah i hope so because I, I think there are, once you get into, once you start to do one of the things, once you, you know, whether it's boundaries or what, what, whatever it is, then you experience the, the relief and the freedom yes. from doing that. And that inspires you to keep, you know, inspires you to keep going. And it it, does. It's, a glory, it's a glorious path that isn't a path, but um, it's glorious just the same. So yeah <laughs> <laughs> which is also why we did the cards you know yeah. like to so that it makes it easier yes you know it's not a book you have to read from beginning to end instead you wake up in the morning and you take a card and that card of course of course because of frequencies and everything that card is going to be the perfect message that yes. you need to hear in that moment. Yes, yes. And so it's like a bite-sized, a bite-sized amount, and doesn't require two or three hours of attention. It's just a moment of attention, but it can make all of the difference. Yes, yes. All of the difference. Yes. Yeah. Do you rec recommend that people put the card somewhere where they'll see it for, throughout the whole day? I would. I would. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, I would. And uh, and I mean, I'm drawing a card every day and I just love it. I absolutely love it. And the, the moment I draw a card, I can see the connection of that card yes. with just what's taking place in, in my life. And it's just, I just feel like the universe is just winking at me all the time. <laughs> That's great. That's you know, great. I gave you that card and, <laughs> and I'm like, I get it. I <laughs> see it. I get it. <laughs> so that's like another level, you know. Yes, yes, and you yes. don't have to be, you know, you, you, you don't have to, to see that with every card, but uh, but to just draw a card and to, to read the teaching and, you know, meditate on that teaching. And when I say meditate, I just mean contemplate. Yes. You know, contemplate that teaching, take that into you. Um, life's going to be better. It hands down is going to be better. Great. So, yeah, which is what we're all about. Right? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I hope people... Uh, um, I hope people really, I hope, I just hope that people really, really, really love them and they and they really help people that uh, find it hard to do a whole lot of things. You know? Yes. So, well, every little, every little step. Is great, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And so you, yeah. how many cards are there in the deck? 65. 65 cards. Oh, 65 so yeah. it's uh, each step each of those 65 steps are mm. are uh, are a gift yeah i mean i just love them i'm really i the whole team is so excited about these cards um yeah they're just so beautiful and the messages are really wonderful and we we just yeah, we just feel so good about yes. this creation. Really, really good. It actually for us, it couldn't be better. 
Yes. And um, and again, it's like creating something that's affordable for absolutely everybody. Yes. Like we do not have any high priced items. That's because we want to make sure that absolutely everyone can have access to whatever we create. So, yeah, but that's great. And it's they're coming out just at the right time. Yes, yes, right? always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, good. This has been really fun, Rhonda. Uh, it's I, been beautiful. I hope I hope that we've inspired um we've inspired people and had them realize it's super easy to be to be free or freer. Yes. Joyful. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, good. I hope you've enjoyed our time with Rhonda Byrne, and I wholeheartedly encourage you to get her two famous books, The Secret and The Greatest Secret. You can get them wherever books are sold, anywhere in the world. You also may want to check out her latest release, The Manifestation Cards, that we played around with in our interview together. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe so you have immediate access to future episodes. Please give us a five-star rating and share it with the people you care about. If you'd like to learn more about my work, my mentor, Lester Levinson's work, and the Sedona Method, please visit www.sedona.com. As you explore our site, you'll learn the key to lasting happiness, success, peace, and emotional well-being. We have books, courses, events, and plenty of free material to explore. Again, go to Sedona.com. That's S-E-D-O-N-A.com. Thank you for being here. And we'll catch you in the next episode of Letting Go and the Greatest Secrets.